Hi, Dick Boucher, Sandy Hill Locomotive Works. Welcome back to my shop. Welcome back to my channel. My friend Bill come over the other night. He's a little perplexed. He's working on an inch and a half scale Challenger, a 4664 locomotive. It's a pretty big undertaking, and it's the first engine he's ever tried to build, and uh, I'm very proud of my student. I gave him a helping hand how to get started on this thing, and he really took off. He's been at it a couple years now, and both chassis are almost completed. He's, uh, he's working on the brake rigging for it now. But he did have a little mishap. And as a matter of fact, first time he's done this since he's been working on this project. He broke a center drill in a bronze casting. Uh, very similar to this one, only quite a bit bigger. This is for a three-quarter Hudson and his is for a um, inch and a half challenger so he came over and he says how do i get this out of here well he tried a couple tricks on his own but they weren't tricks they were goof ups so i uh, quickly says bill that's no problem let me show you how it's done so we went over to the milling machine and um, i picked out one of my modified center drills out of my toolbox drawer here and we went to work at it and um, after we got done, I said to Bill, I says, you know, Bill, this was kind of not well planned. I should have been videoing this for my YouTube channel. So anyhow, here I am. I'm, uh, I'm not going to break a center drill. They're expensive, but I will show you how I modify the center drills to take out the broken tip out of a piece. Okay, here's a close-up of that piece that, uh, that Bill had some trouble with. I've just put a mark here on the bottom show you the four spots where it was going to bolt up and one of them had the broken center drill but if you can see as you can see coming down to hit that spot with a drill from the top and again this was a, this is half the size of what he was working on it would be difficult so we have my little system for removing a broken center drill so here we have our little workpiece And that's what it normally looks like when you've done a good job with your center drill. But, in this little spot right here, we've broken off the tip of the center drill. And so we've got to get this out of here. And I know that, the, you know, they're buried in there. They're tight. There's chips all around it and everything. So we have the center drill. There's the break off. center drill. Now, uh, the, next, uh, the next portion of the video here, I'll show you how I do this. I take my Dremel grinder with a little abrasive wheel, and I do that to the center drill. And then I come down with the modified center drill. drill that out. So basically after I've got that drilled out, I have a situation I have a situation I use the right color here. It looks like this. In the piece of material. So now we've picked out and we've chipped out that little piece of uh, busted center drill that's in there. And now we go down with a drill and drill through this. And there we have it. Now we just bring this up to the size drill that we were originally planning to work on here. Okay, so here we have the modifications to the center drill. Basically what I do is I grind the center out. This is, this is where the broken center drill was. 
right here. This is the brake. I take and I grind out this little U-shaped piece here. And you can see that'll come right down. Whoops. No, you can't see if my hand's in the way, that's for sure. That'll come right down alongside the broken tip. And it will allow you to go in there and chip out. Now, the way I do this, um, this isn't uh, mounted in the Dremel. But I take and just take the Dremel tool and grind that center out of there. Um, this is a number three, but I also have it down as small as a number one, which is the ones you usually break the most often. Um, sometimes you break a center drill real severe, and there's a big charred left over, busted out. It's left in the piece you're machining, so that's easy to pick out. That comes out of there easy. But then you're stuck with removing the little tip. So there you have it. There's, uh, there's how you grind the tip. And one thing that I thought I'd share with you is my little tooling block that I've made to hold my end mills um, on my center drills. It's just a little block of wood, drill for each one. And that keeps them nice and neat on the shelf beside the milling machine, halfway between the milling machine and the lathe. So there you have it. Okay. I'm going to drill that center drill hole. Oh, crumb. I just broke the center drill. Uh, I didn't really break it, but like I said, I'm not going to go breaking center drills. They're expensive. We'll take the center drill out. A little tip of it's still down in the hole down there. You can see it's missing. So now we take the, uh, the modified center drill. Get it running true in the truck. Chuck will be a lot easier for us. And it'll just come down in the same location. If you broke it in the center drill, it's probably best to broke it in the drill press. It'll be best to come over and try to get it so that you're right over where the broken tip is. Then you can come in and just uh, Chipped a little piece of the tip right out of there. It usually comes out just like that. And then you can, once it's out of there, you can use the drill you were going to use to go through the part. So there you have my method for removing a broken center drill. Uh, Bill left very happy. He uh, not only had his part saved, but he had some more information for his uh, his knowledge on the uh, the machine shop work. So um, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. Give me a thumbs up. And until the next video, so long.